So let's take a look at some examples that we can look at. I promise we'll look at some more examples to apply to apply what we know. So when we think about, you know, addition in general, what we've been talking about when it comes to addition, we remember and know that they're basically just 10 numbers that we use in our whole system. If you our whole number system is made up of 10 numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's 10 numbers. And so when we start to add higher and higher numbers, we're going to see patterns that will develop, right? And you'll be able to answer questions more quickly if you recognize those patterns. So let's just say we have two plus two is four. We know that's equal to four. We also know then if two plus two is equal to four, then 12 plus two is going to be equal to 14. So that's going to be the pattern. We know that four is going to be a part of that problem, especially when we have two ones right there like that. Did we know that four is going to be a part of our problem? So we'll learn about place value later, but think about the patterns that you're going to normally see. Let's say we have three plus four is equal to seven. We already know that. Then 13 plus four is going to be equal to 17. And it doesn't matter how I do it. Even if I make it four plus 13 and switch the numbers around, it's still going to be equal to 17. It doesn't matter. Let's look at another example. Let's say I have four plus five. I know that's going to be equal to nine. And if I go ahead and I take that 15 plus four, that's going to be equal to 19. So it doesn't matter how we do it. We're going to have the same number. And we're going to see the same patterns kind of arise for us. That's why we can start to add bigger and bigger numbers. And that's what we're going to do as we start to look at bigger and bigger numbers. So let's take, for instance, here, we're going to start with number 10 and see if we can work our ways, you know, sums up to 20. And this little example right here, the, the basketballs, we have 10 basketballs plus three basketballs. That's 13 basketballs. It's just an example of what we're doing so you can visualize it. So let's say if I have the number 10 and I add six to it. Well, I can easily look at this and I can go, well, that's six, six plus zero is six. And then obviously that one, this is going to be 16. And you might be really tempted to kind of count on your fingers, but if you can start to really quickly move away from that and start to recognize this right in your mind will be really great. So let's say I have 10 plus four. I know that that's going to be 14 right there. If I look at that's going to be 14, I can easily see that's one, that's 14 right there. Let's say I have 10 plus seven. So I'm sure that's going to be seven. That's going to be 17. I can easily see that that's 17. 10 is an easy one to start with. So I might, might want to get familiar with that. 10 plus three. So we've already kind of seen that that's going to be 13. We already kind of looked at that already. That's 13. Now let's look at another one. 10 plus eight. It was zero right there. I know that's going to be eight and I'm going to bring one. That's going to be 18. 10 plus eight is going to be 18. So now start to try these on your own. Start to work through this worksheet or work through problems on your own. Start with the tens and see if you can add this up and see if you can do it in your mind, how quickly you can do it. If you can get better and better at this, I think you can.